covering the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. This is National Police Month and the Royal Bahamas Police Force is staging a series of events to foster a closer relationship with the public and greater camaraderie among members of the force. Members of the police debate and speech team from Grand Bahama traveled to the nation's capital this week where they faced off on a very topical issue. This afternoon, they returned to a welcome fit for champions. From the time I've been debating for Grand Bahama, this is the first time I've ever come home to such a gathering for the trophy. Members of the Grand Bahama Police All-Star Speech and Debate Team arriving home to a hero's welcome and the floating trophy in hand. The officers traveled to New Providence where they battled colleagues there in a challenge of research, brains and wit. Superintendent Walter Henderson served as a coach for the team and says he is proud of the achievement. The topic for the debate was would the impending decriminalization of marijuana have an impact on other crimes in the Bahamas? And they didn't give us a score, but at the end they told us we won. We war against it. We were against it. And you know, going to Nassau, the room was stacked against us. But we had some supporters. There are some officers from Grand Bahama that were in Nassau that are on several courses and they came out and the room was full of excitement. But uh, we had a lesson plan set for them and our lecturers did a marvelous job in persuading the judges that we had the better side of information and presentation. Officer in charge of Grand Bahama, Assistant Commissioner of Police Samuel Butler says that he is proud of the team for their outstanding performance and the big win. He notes that this celebration of Police Month has exposed the various talents of the officers. What I've seen from this uh, particular exercise, as you know, that we are celebrating uh, Police Month, uh, but when we actually looked at the educational side of it, we saw multiple talents from our officers. Uh, so many of them were just hiding their talents, but what they had an opportunity to expose that talent that really would have blown you out of your seat if you actually attended uh, those events. Uh, so they are history in our minds, but we have a good history, a good day to mark this event, and certainly we're excited and we say congratulations to them for the hard work, awesome things that they've done. We are definitely big on the map. Grand Bahama, congratulations. The team consisted of five officers, Corporal Geisha Russell, Constable Mark Thompson, Sergeant Shimiko Arthur, and Sergeant Natalie Knowles. Now ASP Rostin Moss also served as a coach for the team, but was unable to travel to New Providence. He had to stay behind to prepare for the funeral of his sister. And so we also want to salute him for being there for us from start to finish, even though he was going through his own crisis, he was there and we want to say thanks to him for all of his support. And now to our final installment in our series on the Fresh Start program. ZNS Northern Service also benefiting from the program as two dynamic young men were able to spend some time training here with us in the news and television department. And we are happy to say that they were outstanding. The Fresh Start program is designed to prepare young people to enter the job market. Before being placed at establishments throughout the island, the interns must first undergo training. Interns here at ZNS, Xavier Wilshkum and Malik Solomon say the program has been a positive experience. When the Fresh Start came up, I was like, this has to be it. And I dropped everything that I was doing just to take part of this program. And, and I, have, I, can't, I don't have any regrets in doing it because what it has done for me is, um, like I said, the tech summits and the seminars that I was able to attend, it really enhanced my knowledge on certain aspects that I wanted to study on and different fields and opportunities that I could receive. Because of the Fresh Start program, I got exposed to a lot of things I normally wouldn't be exposed to, like a bunch of seminars about entrepreneurship, personal branding, and stuff like that. During their time at ZNS, the young men would accompany a reporter and cameraman on their various assignments. They learned to shoot cameras and even practice their editing skills. 
Wolfscomb says that his time at ZNS has been a great one, automatically feeling right at home with the team. It's been great. I cannot complain about anything. As far as shooting the camera and learning how to adjust certain settings on the camera to get the perfect shot or even editing a story and listening to the news reporters record their sound bites, it's like a totally different person sometimes when you hear their outside voice and then when they go in they talk and they sound, you know, so much more professional. Solomon says that his time at the corporation gave him a much greater appreciation for what it takes to put together the nightly newscast. It has helped me become more thorough because watching the, the reporters and the cameramen work, they're extremely thorough in what they do. They try to make sure the audio is, is good. They always got to make sure that they haven't switched to the right settings. And, you know, it's a, it's a really involved process. I've learned a lot of things about like the different camera settings and shooting the camera and um, editing as well. Both young men enjoyed their time at the corporation so much that they continued to work even beyond the close of the Fresh Start program. It is called a girls' night out. The Woman to Woman organization will be hosting the event tomorrow evening for all women on Grand Bahama. Founder Krishna Bo says they hope to empower women as a number of issues that women don't usually speak about will be discussed. There's a multitude of emotional issues that we as women go through, but you know us women, we are so great at pretending. And um, we know how to make it look good on the outside, but inside we find that so many women are having a lot of emotional difficulties, be it because of uh, crises in your lives, tragedies, or just overwhelmed by all the daily pressures of life. And tomorrow night we are going to be bringing this out in the open we're going to be discussing these mental um, challenges that we face because we all face them girls night out will be held at the grand lucayan resort at 7 p.m for more information contact krishna bow on facebook two dynamic guest speakers one is yours truly and the other person is going to be Shay Thompson King out of Nassau. And Mrs. King is a certified wellness coach and a nutrition coach. She um, is pursuing her final degrees in psychology. She is a very experienced counselor over there in Nassau. And she's going to really be bringing with her a lot of information and expertise and um, giving us practical solutions as to how we can get through these um, emotional crises, how we can get through when we're going through. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Welcome to Ask the Doctor. Elaine from Freeport asked, what are the early signs of autism in children? Thanks for your question, Elaine. Before I answer your specific question regarding signs and symptoms of autism, I think it's important to first discuss what autism is. Autism spectrum disorder covers a variety of symptoms, skills, and levels of impairment. Essentially, it is a serious neurodevelopmental disorder that impairs a child's ability to communicate and interact with others. It also includes restricted repetitive behaviors, interests, and activities. These issues cause significant impairment in social, occupational, and other areas of functioning. Some children show signs early in infancy. However, others may develop normally for the first few months or years of life, but then suddenly become withdrawn, aggressive, or lose language skills they've already acquired. Each child with autism is likely to have a unique pattern of behavior and level of severity, which can range from low to high functioning. So if you notice such changes in your child, please have them evaluated by a doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, Ricardo Lightborn is up next with a check on sports.